Adele Waldman's journey from Brooklyn Literati to a big box store a good friend of mine when talking about the New York dating landscape that led her to choose single motherhood often refers to Adele Waldman's 2013 novel, The Love Affairs of Nathaniel P. An unromantic comedy, the book is a note-perfect depiction of Obama-era literary Brooklyn and the Ivy-educated cads who think of themselves as sensitive and enlightened even as they treat women as disposable. It was a big hit, making lots of year-end best of lists and inspiring a bunch of Way We Live Now essays, themselves relics of a bygone time when elite culture was coherent enough to have zeitgeist-defining novels. But instead of capitalizing on her sudden stardom, Waldman didn't publish another novel for more than a decade. To my surprise, I just didn't have another idea, she told me over lunch near her house in the Hudson Valley town of Rhinebeck. Especially after the shock of Donald Trump's election, she lost interest in exploring the romantic and psychological struggles of the upper middle class. So in 2018, not knowing what to write about instead, she got a job unloading trucks at a nearby Target, vaguely hoping to find inspiration in the lives of people far outside her own milieu. At first, her shift started at 6 a.m., then management abruptly changed it to two hours earlier. The thing that took me by surprise, she said, was how quickly the workplace itself captured her imagination. I've got to write about this.